Welp, here we are on the YouTubes. Ryan, what's up? Que pasa? Yes, Arna, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, it's going really well. It's going really well. I'm excited to do this because it's Aurora, the adorable fairy. She's wonderful. She's pretty. She's adorable. She's talented. She's feisty. She's a warrior. She's all those mm. things. It's funny. I just finished watching a great TV show. We actually just finished it today at the time it's recording. It's three seasons only. It's on Amazon Prime. Highly recommended. Highly recommended if you haven't seen this. It's the reason why I like this three seasons because the creator had a storyline in mind. They're like, I've got a beginning, Ooh. middle, and end. They made three what seasons. What is it? I'm getting to it. I'm building it up. It's, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's called Hannah. Oh, why didn't you record yourself doing it? Because I watched it with my wife. Oh, okay. And she will not go in front of the camera. We're not going to do a dual reaction together. So it's our show. We have shows that we watch together. There's no cameras, no I no cotton, no commentary. Just <laughs> husband and wife enjoying the show together. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a fantastic show. I think you, by all means, I think you would like it if you want to react to it yourself. Quite frankly, but that being said, I, I bring all this up because Aurora mm -hmm. she reminds me of the character in the show. They look very similar. The actress that plays Hannah looks very similar to. Aurora, and did you ever watch Walking Dead? Yep. Did you get as far as the character Alpha? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's her daughter that plays Hannah. Oh, like it's from the Samantha, show? Samantha Morton's daughter in real life plays Hannah. So they're both actresses. Oh, and okay. yeah. Oh, that's right. That, okay, thank you, Onion. So Onion, Onion's here who gave this. Oh, that's great. Perfect time. Look at this. So I, mm. I, Onion is the one that gave us this request, and they're here right now. And yes, Aurora did do a song, season three, Midas Touch. I didn't know the name of the song, but when the song came on, it's funny that you bring this up, because when the song came on the show, mm -hmm. I turned to Becky and said, that's Aurora. I could tell with the voice and, yeah, yeah. and everything. So She's anyways, unmistakable. That's yeah, it's amazing and very similar looks to them both. Anyways, here we go. So this song is from Onion, like I said, but this is the write-up. Sorry, guys. One sec. This is an October request. We're recording this the last day of October, so we're getting in. The time it's recording is Halloween. So Onion says, spooky Halloween song, even though you might do this after Halloween. Well, we're doing it the day of. So there you go. Mm. The spirit of Halloween ooze through the song and through us because we're recording on October 31st. Aurora in Boxes the name of the song. The song was released on her first EP before her first album. The rumor is that there was a scary lady in her neighbor in her childhood neighborhood who the children were afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> and Aurora's vivid imagination made her write this song about a woman serial killer. Oh wow. Very cool. The performance so back on for the spirit say, of Halloween. Oh, sure. The performance is from La La Plaza, Chicago, 2016. So here we go. In boxes. So I wonder if like bodies are in boxes or something like that. That might be what it is. Calling out for the lonely, I am going home. I've been doing awful things again. I hear them laughing in my head. I went out in the Morning, looking for a man I could see you were the perfect one Standing all alone I've been walking ahead for a while And dragging your body behind But baby, I had a good time I would kill for some company 
temporarily I didn't once have a lover Only kept his hands They can dance and play the songs for me Play until I And she has a great band. I think that other female that's singing with her, I think we talked about her before. She went on her own way, I think. Mm, mm-hmm. If I remember correctly. I really like I really like her and the, the uh, harmonizing that they do together really adds to the song. And with the drummer dude singing, I think. Was it the drummer that was singing along too? Or the bassist? I, I, or, the, or maybe the, the bassist. Bass. Yeah. So great harmonies throughout the song. So I really enjoyed the harmonies. Of course, Aurora was killing it live. She sounds amazing live. Looks adorable as ever. And now I can't unsee her and Hannah. It's so weird. They're not mm-hmm. like exactly the same, but they, they both have the Hannah gets blonde hair later in the series. They remind me of Aurora's hair. And they both mm-hmm. have that uh, kind of waifish fairy lady. Like it's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. All right. What do you think? What do you think of the song? I'm going to take the eye patch off for this. What are you doing? Uh, this is a great. Uh, I like this from Carolyn. She says, I find alternative artists more interesting than generic pop artists who are backed by huge music studios and push a specific algorithm on everyone to make everyone th- or everything sound pretty and much the same in waves. I, yeah, I totally agree. Aurora is unique as they come in a good way. Yeah, I think that's what draws people to her is there's there's nothing about her that screams pop. <laughs> right that, you, yeah. you don't hear aurora and go like, oh that's yeah and yet in the in that same sentence she's risen to fame mm-hmm. on the similar level but for the for different reasons yeah she's not doing the massive tours selling out massive stadiums mind you she still could oh, that's the interesting thing is i don't know if i don't know if aurora i don't think it's in her to be that way I think her approach to music, to just everything in general, her philosophy doesn't let her. And that's what makes her endearing. I love listening to Aurora. That song, just I found that song particularly interesting. I can totally see why that would fit some images on screen. Like I I imagined what the images are. I know a little bit about the show, Hannah, like just a tiny little bit. And I understand like a just a yeah i i was imagining what was on screen it's probably not what actually was on screen but you've seen the show with this song already so you already know what, what it goes with right i don't remember I, the exact I, scene but sure yeah okay. and i don't think it was this song it was a different song called midas touch but oh okay isn't that the name of the episode that it was on nathan i don't remember the title of the, the episode or oh. the title of the song i just remember oh, that i sorry okay I don't think oh, I, don't... I was wrong. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Anyway, I could imagine. It doesn't matter. I understand that now I get it wasn't on the it was on Hannah. Okay. However, it's just, imagine... was, it just Aurora was on Hannah. That's all. That... Yeah, I missed. I miss her. That's okay. I, people are deleting their comments now and hitting the back. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah whew. So I just I still can imagine images going with most of Aurora's music, actually, because right. it has that kind of feel to it where it it lends itself to music or to to images to be seen on screen along with the music it's just that good yeah 
Yeah, great song, great live performance. I echo everything you're saying there, Nathan, regarding that. And of course, I already mentioned the band, great backing band, or I'm not sure who's with her still from this performance from seven years ago. Something I did like about the lyrics here, of course, knowing the background of that it might be about a creepy lady or maybe some murders, just she kept repeating, get them all collected in these boxes underneath my bed. I don't know if that could emphasize maybe emotional baggage. I don't know. Hiding things under your bed. I don't know. Uh, yeah. What else? Covering what things else? up. Yeah. Like your subconscious kind of. Definitely there's regret and guilt because as mentioned, I've been doing awful things again. Mm-hmm. Loneliness. Calling out for what I get here. Calling out for the lonely. I'm going home. And I like this uh, idea here that it said the desire for companionship was mentioned, but I like how that was mentioned with I would kill yeah. <laughs> for some company. I was going to say, <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> yeah. So I would kill for some company right now. And the idea is maybe, and this is me just inserting my imagination here, dark imagination, like she's killing people for company, but that they're literally bodies that she's piling up. That's her company mm-hmm. or, is the, or these dead bodies. So. Yeah, fun stuff. Uh, I love it. Uh, great lyrics, great song, great performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love Aurora. We have never been disappointed. That's a good thing. And a great day for it on Halloween. Thanks for joining us on Halloween to listen to Aurora sing a creepy song. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs>